Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about these cards right here. Headliners team number two. Can we potentially invest in them before they go out of packs tomorrow on Friday? Will these cards be rising nicely out of packs like Headliners Team 1 did? I'm going to try to tackle that situation, talk through how I think those cards might be moving on the market in the next couple of days, and also take a look at the insane showdown SBC that EA dropped yesterday that has a lot of people changing up their FIFA 22 squads because Serie A cards are flying on the market as people buy items to link to the Darmian and Muriel SBCs that dropped yesterday on the game. Seriously, these cards really excited a lot of people yesterday, and you're going to tell by prices that you see on the market. A lot of people are changing their teams to try these cards out ahead of the big game between Atalanta, Bergamo Calcio in FIFA, and Inter Milan, which takes place on Sunday. So potential boosts in line for both of these cards, which already both look insane. So... We'll be taking a look at that situation as well and the whole market in general as it is a rewards day today on Thursday. We'll take a look at some of the content and there's some more leaked SBCs that are going to be coming out soon as well. And that might also influence what we see on the market and some of the price rises that we see on this game. So if you're enjoying the videos on the channel, of course, make sure to hit a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Now let's take a look at headliners team number two and talk through some of these cards and why I think, you know, some of these have potential to rise up out of packs, especially with the time frame that we are in right now with this game. A lot of people seem, to me at least, a little bit bored, especially from an investing standpoint, from a trading standpoint. People are looking for things to do after they've maybe sold their team, they've sold some of their big cards, as we, we've seen prices from, you know, very expensive items on the market, like, you know, Winter Wild Cards Zlatan was, you know, 2.9 mil. Now he's down to 2.6, which is actually up a little bit, right? Lucas Mora is down like 70k. Uh, Raheem Sterling is down like 50,000 coins, 60,000 coins. You take a look across the market and a lot of these cards, Modric was 760. He's actually up a little bit right now, but he was almost 900k. Pogba was over a mil and he's down in price. A lot of the market in general is down because if people are preparing for team of the year, but then also gives people extra coins and they want to invest with some of those coins. And as we've seen SBC fodder rise in the past couple of days, I can't help but think a lot of people are wanting, going to want to get involved with some of these headliners today after they've seen how headliners team one rose out of packs last week, right? We're talking about an Nkunku card who, yes, was helped out by a little bit of a good performance that made his card go crazy, but this guy was 460k, and even last Thursday, he was 490,000 coins, and on the weekend, he was 600k. He still is 600,000 coins, right? I think that some of these cards from Team 2 have set a good precedent for how Team uh, from team one is have set a good precedent on how cards from team two might rise out of packs just because there's a lot of cards in here that a lot of people want to use, right? Think about Fofana. Think about um, the Teate card with all the serial links right now. Cancelo, who links to a leaked SBC, two leaked SBCs that are coming soon. Barella, who is already up like 30K, 40,000 coins in price because of the links to the Serie A SBCs. Uh, Vinicius is up. Salah is down. Uh, I think this Trap card, I think that the Rafael Leal, I think there's a lot of very interesting cards and I think some of them could rise up today a little bit in price. Now, let's talk about this time period, right? If headliners from Team 2 are going to rise, and I don't think that it's going to be, you know, a straight rise. I don't think they're going to explode in price today and just, you know, go to the moon like right away. It's not going to be that easy, right? It's going to take, in my opinion, it might take a couple days, especially with what we call um, some some big content with some big time SBCs still on the horizon and a lot of people doing SBCs right now at the moment. It might not be an immediate rise on these cards, but I do think that, you know, between today on Thursday with two buy windows at rewards or before rewards, um, and then with marquee matchups, I think between those two windows and then potentially another buy window for some of these cards on the weekend, um, when you see a little bit of weekend league sell off and you also might see a bit of panic selling for that, that uh, icon player pick SBC that we've talked about. 
Um, those are kind of like the windows that I see, a windows of opportunity that I see on some of these cards. Yeah, some of these cards, like Cancelo is 260. You know, I feel like with the upgrades that he, when this guy gets upgraded, I mean, can you imagine Cancelo with a plus one? He's going to have probably, well, almost guaranteed 90 pace, 90 dribbling. He's going to hop into the 80 physical standpoint, and he might even get 90 passing if they give him plus two in passing. That's going to make this card at a face value look so much better than it does right now. You take those 89s, go to 90, and especially with this Cancelo linking to two SBCs that are coming out very soon on this game. Now, these are confirmed leaks. A 90-rated flashback Gundawan. This was an SBC that was leaked yesterday by the Sheriff, and these stats are not confirmed, I'm pretty sure. But if you imagine a Hullet Gang Gundawan, if this SBC is really good value, Gundawan is a guy that doesn't get very many usual, like usable and meta cards on FIFA, but I think this would be a card that a lot of people would love to try out. So with this card coming and with you know City playing as well as they're playing, the potential for a Cancelo upgrade is very high. That's an SBC that I think a lot of people would love to use Gundawan and Cancelo together. Now, you've already seen prices on the market move up because of this, like Cancelo's other special cards, like his left back, um, team of the group stage item is like 160. Yesterday he got bought up from 150,000 coins. He got bought up all the way to 170. He's kind of been chilling in the 160s since then. So you've already started to see people invest off that stuff. A lot of Serie A cards are up, or sorry, a lot of Premier League Manchester City links are up for that. And then you've got this player of the month, Raheem the Dream Sterling, which is also leaked. I know it's a left wing and that is a confirmed position and Cancelo is a right wing or a right back card, but I still think that some people might link those two together in a team using one of the items off chemistry. So two big Manchester City players coming out pretty soon. And, you know, that bodes well for a guy like this headliners Cancelo on the market. And that could make him rise up a little more in price. So I think Cancelo is probably somebody that a lot of other people on this game are looking to invest in. And that might, that might make his price rise up faster than some of the others. Other things you have to consider when looking in, can I invest in this team, is you got to look at some of the, the headliner streaks, right? Some of these guys are on a couple wins, like Barella's on a one win, Cancelo is again on one win already, Vinny Jr. has got a win um, under his belt, you've got Fofana with a win, Zapata's got a win, um, obviously Klaus has got one as well, and then you've got um, the Acuna on two wins, and you've got uh, Rafael Leao is on two wins as well. Now, the thing with Leao is, yes, he's on two wins, but Milan don't play for like another five days. So it's not like he's going to get to that third win very, very soon. They play a cup match today, but that does not count, uh, I believe. It's only domestic leagues for this win streak on those cards. So it's very interesting to watch how the headliners team one have risen so well out of packs. Again, I think if you're trying to buy these cards today, you've got, you've got two windows today. Uh, you've got the window of the rewards time frame. Some of these cards have dropped off a little bit before rewards, like especially on like Mohamed Salah. I think since you've had the ZH card, this might have hurt Salah's price a little bit uh, on this game, but he's 1.1 million coins and he is so, so rare. And this is the best right wing in the Prem on this game. This is the best right wing in the Prem, hands down. Literally no argument. I, you could say that Winter Wildcard Sterling is pretty good, but Salah is different gravy in this game. I know he might be getting a team of the year, um, but that card is, that's a really, really good card. And they gave him a huge passing boost. And I feel like if the Fofana and if the Ziyech and if all the links were back on the Premier League and the hype was on the Prem, he'd be like a 1.4 million coin card. But right now he's only about 1.1. Salah's playing incredible. I know he's at AFCON right now. Um, and so that might, you know, lessen his chances for a special card, potentially, some might say. But I feel like this Salah could very easily be 1.3 million coins in the next two to three days. So this is a card that I'm heavily watching out for. He was like 1.2 flat. I'm trying to get one. I'm trying to get one at like 115, but I feel like that's being a little too greedy. It's a big, it's a big coin spend, right? So maybe some of the other cards that you might see rise decently well. Don't sleep on this Laborde, man. Seriously. Like buy one of these. Buy one of these, put it on your transfer list, because this guy was just the player of the month for the League Un. He's 88 rated and he's a French striker. People love French strikers, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna buy one of these Labordes. And I'm just going to put it in the club. I really am because I know that that card, you know, I don't know if his team is doing that well in the league on, but I know this guy won player of the month and he scores goals. So uh, he's already got multiple informs this year. Give this guy another upgrade. I mean, that card already looks 
pretty disgusting. I know he's only got four three-star skills, but I just think that there's, there's a couple of these cards that could be rising up in the next couple of days. So if it's something for like you're buying for your team, then I 100% would try to snag one before they go out of packs. I know Fofana, he was just down at like 900K flat. He's back up a little bit right now. Um, some of these cards I think are still overpriced, Fofana being one of them. Um, I even think Rafael Leao is overpriced, but I think it's because he's got two wins under his belt. That's why he's a little bit expensive. So I do think that headliners can rise up. It, of course, depends on the EA content. We say that all the time. But it's the number one, it's it's the truth, right? It all depends on EA's content on this game and, and what new cards come out and what people's focus is on this game. But a lot of people, I think, are going to invest in these because they're live. And of course, some of them have potential to get informs and upgrades. So just like you saw last week, Luis Diaz and Nkunku having good games on the weekend, there's probably going to be a player or two from the um, Headliners Team 2 squad that has a good game in the next couple of days and it rises up in price just purely off the potential that they could get a special card and upgrade from uh, a game that they performed well in. So that's something to watch with these cards as again, they are live and that's the biggest aspect to them and why they rise usually out of packs. Now, a couple downsides to Headliners Team 2, right? A couple downsides to these cards. Uh, they had extra supply from the compensation packs. Like if you remember last week, that whole compensation situation, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, when that was going on, these cards have a little extra supply because of that. And you, again, could have that later drop on the market uh, with team of the year coming. So it's a, it's a bit risky, right? It's an, it's always risky to try to invest in cards before they go out of packs. But I still think that this weekend, um, with it looking like we're not going to get another promo, it bodes well for these cards. It really does bode well unless EA Sports drops some insane SBCs that make people panic sell like everything. And I feel like the Icon player pick, which is supposed to be out next Monday, um, would be the only SBC, in my opinion, that could really do a ton of damage to the whole market as a whole. So that's my opinion on some of these headliner cards. You know, I just actually snagged an insane undercut on, I got a really lucky snipe uh, on a Barella card, this one right here. I got it for 237,000 coins. So that's a 100,000 coin undercut. So I got really lucky with that one. Uh, and I bought another one at 330 just because everybody's hyped about Syria. So I haven't invested too much yet just so that you guys know that I'm not telling you to go buy these cards or I think they could rise. And I'm sitting here with a transfer list full of them. I'm decently liquid at the moment just trying to trade flip items and make some coins that way and not really investing so that's kind of my two cents on the headliners items now let's talk about this market and we have to talk about these sbcs the darmian and the luis muriel now i'm very close to completing this darmian i'm really close to starting him uh because a lot of people are raining praise for this card an absolutely insane upgrade five star weak foot medium high work rates is a bit interesting for a right wing back but this game takes place on sunday inter is on a winning spree in the syria and also um bergamo calcio aka atalanta is doing pretty well and this muriel looks disgusting so um i think people are rooting for atalanta because of this muriel imagine this with a plus two upgrade going to an 89 94 pace maybe you know they could give him plus three shot because on a on a plus two upgrade i believe they do all stats plus two and then they give one or two stats a plus three so you're, you're, again you're talking 89 or 90 shot 83 to 84 passing 93 dribbling maybe even 80 physical like this card would be disgusting he's already so good but again then you look at a plus two upgrade on this darmian card and you're like oh my goodness this guy either has a right back or a center back in game with the medium high work rates the five star weak foot with a plus two upgrade even a plus one if they were to draw these cards look really nuts and so people are really really hyped about these two items and you can tell because every single meta syria card on this game is flying in price again just take a look at the thumbs up on these cards too right 2900 thumbs up 140k for both of these sbcs and the thing that i'm maybe a bit disappointed about with this is yes i feel like it's slightly expensive but also ea has to make this at a price where if you do get the upgraded card you're like okay you can't, ea can't give this to you for too cheap because you know a couple one of one or two or both of these cards are going to get upgraded so that's kind of priced in. The upgrade is priced into the SBC, I think, as well. But I can't help but think that this Darmian SBC, just like three or four days ago, when 86s were 10,000 coins, like these guys, Darmian and Muriel, it would have been 100K to do them both. But with the rise of fodder, 
These guys are up in price. It is what it is. I still think they're not terrible value and the market and everybody else on FIFA seems to be agreeing. Take a look at some of the rises on these Serie A cards. Skriniar went from 160K. Look at this rocket of price. 160,000 coins flying in price up to 220 where he is right now. Crazy rise for Skriniar. The Barella card was 290. He was up at 350 at one point. I mean, you look across the game. Koulibaly, he was 220K, and now he's 260. Uh, where's another example? Where's um, the right wing? Where's the main man right wing Chiesa? Chiesa has gone from like 190,000 coins or 180K, and he's like 220,000 coins. He's flown in price. Cordoba was 430 yesterday. Now he's 478. Everything Syria that is meta, that is popular and it links to these cards is flying in price on this game. Kessie's card is flying in price. I actually bought a couple um, of the Tonali Road to the Knockout stage at like 29,000 coins yesterday, even as a pretty cheap item. I mean, people are buying whatever they can uh, to go in and link these new guys in their team and trying them out. How much is Tonali right now? Tonali is 30, 35, 34,000 coins. And I got some of these at like 29, 30K. I mean, stuff like this, honestly, today after rewards, people are going to get, um, you know, fodder cards from their division rivals rewards packs. And I think that what that's going to do is people are going to go out on the market and slowly chip away at whatever SBC they're working on, whether it's Ziyech, Darmian, Muriel. Um, maybe they're still trying to finish up the class SBC, maybe the icon upgrade. So I still think you're going to see people in going out and buying some of the Serie A cards. So that's why um, I was looking at the Barella card because I think that he might go up in price a little bit more even today. If I get the right price tonight, if he's back down, he was 350 at one point. So I'm kind of watching this card. If he goes back down under 330K, I might get kind of interested because he is a very popular card. Again, potential upgrades, another win and another game coming on this weekend with the showdown game in mind. So there's just a lot to watch right now with the Serie A cards that are on this game and how they're flying up in price. We also had a brand new team of the week yesterday, which I want to go and show you guys as I try to win this Salah and bid. Maybe if I spend two more, th all right, 116, that's my that's my buy price, EA Sports. Okay, nobody outbid me. Thank you very much. Um, I want to show you guys the brand new team of the week because uh, there's some interesting cards in here. Number one, how does Marquinhos get a team of the week for the performance that he had? It makes literally zero sense. He should not be in team of the week. Um, but Teo Hernandez, I bought one of these at 293, sold it at 330. He's coming back down pre-division rivals rewards. This isn't too bad of a price already. For day one, 300,000 coins for a saucy plus two or uh, plus one upgrade, but plus two defense puts him over just over 81 defense total uh, on the stats for the card. So it looks really, really good. He's got that dynamic image that the 86 Teo Hernandez did not have. So this is going to be a card to watch in the next couple of weeks, especially heading out of team of the year. People are going to want to rock this in their squad post team of the year. So that's something to keep an eye on. Um, on this game and, and the prices of the team of the week other than Teo Hernandez kind of what this does right now is it gives you an opportunity to especially if you were investing in informs before I think one of the leaks for content that might be coming today or tomorrow is another 84 plus player pick and last time they dropped that I believe it required two informs so I believe there's going to be some people that will be investing in informs um, this weekend. Some of these cards that are down around discard value. As you can see, they're not quite discard. They're like 12K. But with rewards and especially team of the week packs that will be coming out on the weekend, keep an eye on the team of the week cards uh, because they might have some interesting movements as a lot of other informs are up in price. But these brand new ones are coming in to lower the price on some of the fodder items when it comes to inform. So just kind of keep an eye on that uh, as we have this team of the week. But really, Chalmany is a cool card. Bellingham is a cool card. And then uh, Marquinhos is like literally how many special cards we have on Marquinhos? We have four. Uh, so, you know, I don't know. I don't think Marquinhos deserved that inform, but EA's got to you know, bring in some, uh, some FIFA point sales somehow, bringing in some uh, packs. Also, I just saw this recently. They upgraded Taliska which I've got this in the club. Wow. So Taliska got his wins to watch upgrade, got a plus two upgrade for that. 86 rated. That card looks pretty clean. 90 finishing, 91 long shots, 91 agility, 87 dribbling. The composure and reactions are not the best, but I'm going to have to give this card a try after his recent upgrade. And also Bellerin, if you have, sorry, Bellerin, I have his ones to watch on tradable from my ones to watch pack earlier this year. And he got upgraded to an 84, looking a bit more serviceable 
than he did. Did I win this bid? I did not. What did this lot go for? 1.17. All right, that's, you know, I'm being a bit stingy here. So if I can snag one more undercut, maybe a 117 on a, the next card, I'll pull the trigger. But I'm being a little stingy, which is fine by me. I'll save my coins and be smart with them. So that's kind of what's going on. Oh, we got a sale. Who was it? Tell me it was an icon. Um, I sold a Carrasco for 100. Okay, that's not super great. Anyways, um, SBC Fodder, I want to talk about that really quick. Uh, to finish off this video as well. It keeps going higher. We talked about it in yesterday's video. We might have another SBC today, player SBC. I know we just talked about the Gundawan, but potentially the Pato card is the next up flashback. I think based on the time that these were talked about and leaked, Pato seems to be like he could be next. Although Pato might be on Friday if we actually don't have a promo screen today. One thing to watch out for with Thursday content today is watch out for a loading screen because I don't know if we'll have one, and if we do, I'd be a bit surprised, but it might be the foot series promo again, where they did the foundation objectives and SBCs um, last time, right before Black Friday. I think they might do that same thing again, and they might include MLS, which is why we think Pato might be a part of this weekend's content. So today on Thursday, content wise, you know, Pato maybe, marquee matchups for sure. Other than that, don't know what else that they might do. Um, I guess you could potentially have another 84 plus player pick because the 85 plus triple goes away in two days and we do not have an 84 plus player pick that is live so it could be another day for an SBC like that so we'll keep an eye out uh, but again for SBC fodder at the moment it just keeps rising like if you got some yesterday when we talked about it in the video 88s are up another thousand two thousand coins uh, Lewandowski was 59k earlier today he's down a smidge you know Kane was 40 39,000 coins he's now 42 so this fodder slowly keeps rising as there's a lot of SBC demand and as people prepare for that leaked um, icon player pick SBC that could be coming soon. So I know it's kind of weird times on the market right now, but there's still a lot of people trying to trade and make coins um, and, you know, they're they're investing and they're um, buying cards still to, to flip and stuff like that. So like I bought a Stoichkov for a million coins yesterday trying to get out of like 1.09 for a decent profit. I got a Raul for 750, and right now he was 820 earlier. Right now he's about still just a little bit below that. But there's still opportunities to flip on this market, and people are buying cards, as you have seen with some of these items from the Serie A explode in price. So watch for some market movements around Serie A again today, and whatever content that we have, uh, we'll just have to kind of see what happens, right? If there's a pot to SBC, then I think a lot of people would be very interested in Brazilian cards. So we'll kind of keep an eye out for that. On this game but it should be an interesting day of thursday content let me know down below what you think about investing in headliners team two and if you're a fan of muriel or darmian either of those sbcs let me know down in the comments of course if you did enjoy this video smash the thumbs up on it and subscribe if you're new it's been nathan put account and i'll catch you guys later peace out